we will use this 400 watt and 100 watt solar panel and explain all the details in the solar panel specification and the role they play in the solar panel's ability to generate the 400 watts. Note that the solar panel test is performed under standard test condition abbreviated as STC. These conditions include 1. Solar irradiance in 1000 watts per square meter. This is the measure of the solar power per unit area representing the intensity of sunlight reaching the panel. 2. Cell temperature at 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit. This refers to the temperature of the solar cells during testing at 25 degrees Celsius or 77 degrees Fahrenheit. 3. Air mass. Air mass refers to the thickness of the atmosphere that sunlight travels through before reaching the Earth's surface. An air mass of 1.0 is when the sun is directly overhead and AM 1.5 represents sunlight at an angle typical of mid-latitudes. Now that we have understood the standard test condition, let us look into each of the technical specifications of a solar panel and the role they play in the solar panel's power generation. 1. Maximum power. Maximum power of the solar panel abbreviated as Pmax refers to the highest amount of electrical power the panel can produce under standard test conditions. It is derived from the maximum power voltage abbreviated as VMP and maximum power current abbreviated as IMP. Multiplying the VMP by the IMP will give you the maximum power of the solar panel in watts. Pmax equals VMP multiplied by IMP. Next, we are going to look at the maximum power voltage. 2. Maximum power voltage. Maximum power voltage abbreviated as VMP is the voltage at which a solar panel produces its maximum power under standard test conditions. The rating of the maximum power voltage of a solar panel is very important. This is because the voltage is the force that pushes electric current from the solar panel into the battery. That is why the voltage produced by a solar panel must be higher than the voltage of the battery to be charged. If the voltage from the solar panel is lower than the voltage of the battery, the solar panel will not be able to charge the battery. Let us use the 100 watts and 400 watts solar panel to explain how the maximum power voltage affects the solar setup. From the solar panel's technical specification data, the 100 watts panel produces a maximum power voltage of 18.6 volts. This simply means that the solar panel can only output 18.6 volts at its best performance. This will be lower at some point when the solar panel is not producing at maximum capacity due to situations like weather condition. The voltage from the solar panel may reduce to values between 15 volts to 17 volts when the weather is bad. A typical 12 volts battery is often rated around 12.6 volts when fully charged. At this voltage, the 100 watt solar panel outputting 18.6 volts will still be able to push electric currents into the battery. In a 24 volt solar setup, the solar panel would not be able to charge the battery. A 24 volts battery typically operates around 25.2 volts when fully charged. The 100 watts panel produces 18.6 volts, which is significantly lower than 25.2 volts, meaning it will not provide enough voltage to effectively charge the 24 volts battery. To make it suitable for use with a 24 volts system, two of the 100 watts panel will be connected in series. With this, the voltage will add up while the current will remain the same. In connecting the two 100 watts solar panel in series, the final voltage equals V1 plus V2 which is equal to 18.6 volts plus 18.6 volts. This is equal to 37.2 volts. With this, the solar panel will be able to effectively charge the 24-volt solar system. Looking at the 400-watt solar panel, which produces a maximum power voltage of 41.2 volts, there will be no problem in charging a 12 volts and 24 volts battery in a solar system. This is because the 41.2 volts produced from the solar panel will be able to effectively charge the battery with the 9.71 amps the solar panel produces without adding another panel in series for the 12 volts and 24 volts configuration. The maximum power current is next on the solar panel technical specification that we are going to look at. 3. Maximum Power Current Maximum power current is the amount of electrical current measured in ampere that flows through a solar panel when the solar panel is performing at maximum capacity. It is abbreviated as IMP. Its rated value in the solar panel technical specification determines the time it will take the battery to be charged to full capacity by the solar panel. The higher the amperes a solar panel produces, 
the faster it will charge a battery. The 400-watt solar panel producing 9.71 amps will charge the battery faster than the 100-watt solar panel producing 5.38 amps. The open circuit voltage is next on the solar panel technical specification that we are going to look at. 4. Open Circuit Voltage Open circuit voltage abbreviated as VOC is the maximum voltage a solar panel produces when it is not connected to anything. This measurement is usually done with the use of a multimeter. The role of an open circuit voltage in a solar system is that it helps prevent charge controller malfunctioning or damage due to excess voltage above its allowable limit. To avoid damage or malfunctioning of the charge controller, the open circuit voltage has to be within the allowable limit of the charge controller. If the charge controller has a maximum voltage limit of 50 volts, the open circuit voltage from the solar panels connected should not exceed 50 volts. This will help the charge controller to perform efficiently. From the solar technical specification data, the 100 watt solar panel has an open circuit voltage of 22.8 volts. This is not very high. To save cost, PWM charge controller can be used to still have a good performance, but the maximum voltage of the PWM should not be below 30 volts. A 50 volts max, 30 amps max PWM charge controller can be used. But the same PWM charge controller with a rating of 50 volts max cannot be used for the 400 watt solar panel. This is because the 400 watt solar panel is outputting 49.6 volts as the open circuit voltage. An MPPT charge controller will be the best since it's a high voltage solar panel so as to help boost efficiency by 20 to 30 percent as compared to using a PWM charge controller. An MPPT charge controller of 80 volts maximum voltage and 20 to 30 amps maximum voltage will be okay for use. If the funds to purchase an MPPT solar charge controller is not available, you can use a PWM charge controller with maximum voltage of 100 volts and maximum amps of 30 amps. Next, we will look at short circuit current. 5. Short circuit current. Short circuit current abbreviated as ISC is the maximum electric current a solar panel can produce when its positive and negative terminals are directly connected. The role the short circuit current plays in the solar system is to help design for safety and efficiency. This is done by using a good wire size to prevent overheating as the current from the solar panel flows. Wires and fuses must handle short circuit current to prevent overheating. The short circuit current of the 100 watt solar panel is 5.78 amps. Use 10 amps rated wires and fuses for safety. The short circuit current of the 400 watt solar panel is 10.3 amps. Use 20 amps rated wires and fuses for safety. This shows that the 400 watt solar panel requires thicker cables as compared to the 100 watt solar panel due to the higher amps the 400 watt solar panel produces. This will help avoid overheating. Using thin wire below the required size is one of the things that lead to fire outbreak in solar array. So always make sure that you use the right wire and fuse rating. Next, we will look at maximum system voltage. Maximum system voltage is the highest voltage at which the solar panel and its components can operate without risk of damage, electrical failure, or safety hazards. Designing the solar components within this range will help avoid damage. Its role in the solar setup design is that it helps show the maximum number of panels that should be connected in a single array in series. Looking at the technical specification of the 100 watt solar panel, it has a maximum system voltage of 1000 VDC. This simply means that while connecting the 100 watt solar panels in series to generate higher voltage, the total voltage should not exceed 1000 volts. The 100 watt solar panel has an open circuit voltage of 22.8 volts. An array of 43 pieces of 100 watt solar panel connected in series gives a final voltage of 980.4 volts, which is close to the limit of 1000 volts. So in connecting the 100 watt solar panels outputting 22.8 volts as its open circuit voltage in series, you should not exceed 43 pieces in series in a single array. Up next, we will look at temperature range. 7. Temperature range. The temperature range in solar panel specifications refers to the limits of ambient temperatures within which the panel can operate safely and efficiently. It provides important information about the environmental conditions the panel is designed to withstand. 
Looking at the temperature range in the 100 watt and 400 watt solar panel specification, the value is between the range of negative 40 Fahrenheit to 185 Fahrenheit. This is the environmental condition that the solar panel should be used. Up next, we will look at maximum series fuse rating. 8. Maximum series fuse rating. It is the maximum allowable fuse size that can be used in series with the solar panel to protect it from excessive current. The fuse acts as a safeguard, disconnecting the circuit if the current exceeds the panel's capacity, preventing overheating, damage, or fire hazards. Role of maximum series fuse rating in solar systems. 1. Protects against reverse current. In certain conditions such as shading or a fault in the system, current can flow backward into the panel. The fuse prevents this reverse current from exceeding the panel's safe limit. 2. Ensures system safety. If a short circuit occurs, the fuse blows to interrupt the flow of excessive current thereby protecting the panel and other components in the system. 3. Guides system design. The maximum series fuse rating helps system designers select the appropriate fuse size for the solar array. Using a fuse larger than the specified rating can compromise safety while a smaller fuse may blow unnecessarily. 4. Important for parallel connections. When multiple panels are connected in parallel, the combined current can exceed the rating of individual panels. Fuses are used to protect each panel from overcurrent caused by faults in other panels. Looking at the technical solar panel specification of the 100 watt solar panel, the maximum series fuse rating is 10 amps. This means that the fuse used should not exceed 10 amps. This will help provide optimal protection. Looking at the technical solar panel specification of the 400 watt solar panel, the maximum series fuse rating is 20 amps. This means that the fuse used should not exceed 20 amps. This will help provide optimal protection. Up next, we will look at power tolerance. 9. Power tolerance. Power tolerance in solar panel specifications refers to the range within which the actual power output of the panel can vary from its rated power output at a range of negative 5% to 5%. This means that for the 100 watt solar panel, the power can have an output 95 watts which is 5% lower than the rated panel capacity of 100 watts or 105 watts which is 5% higher than the rated solar panel capacity. Its role in the solar system is that it helps in system design and energy yield predictions. A lower tolerance ensures consistency and reliability in energy output. 10. Application Class A Application Class A indicates that the solar panel is designed for use in environments where there is a risk of electric shock. These include systems with high voltage levels such as residential, commercial, and utility-scale installations. Its role in the solar system is safety assurance. Class A panels are built to meet stringent safety requirements ensuring they can operate safely in high-voltage systems without posing risks to users or the environment. 11. Weight the weight of the solar panel shows how heavy a solar panel is. It helps in the selection of a good and strong material that will be used in mounting the solar panel. From the solar panel's technical specification, the weight of the 100 watt solar panel is 15 pounds. The weight of the 400 watt solar panel is 49.4 pounds. 12. Dimension. The dimension of a solar panel shows the length, width, and thickness of the solar panel. Knowing these technical solar panel specifications will help build an efficient solar system that will work efficiently and last long.